Welcome to this video lecture on the poem The Chimney Sweeper by William Blake. This poem is included in Blake's anthology Songs of Innocence. This poem is prescribed for study for the third semester BA English Honour students of the University of Kerala in their paper British Literature 5. William Blake is considered as the prototype of the Romantic poets. He is a worthy predecessor who wrote about the countryside, the rustic life and about childhood. He is considered as one of the early representatives of Romanticism. He was a poet, a painter, engraver and a visionary. William Blake is considered one of the most visionary of English poets and he worked to bring about a change both in the social order and in the minds of men. His famous anthology, Songs of Innocence, was published in 1789. It is a collection of short lyrical poems that express the poet's views on human society as depicted through the eyes of a child. These songs or poems symbolize the joy and happiness of children and also reflect sincerity and sympathy. Songs of Innocence dramatize the naive hopes and fears that inform the lives of children and also trace their transformation as the child grows into adulthood. Some of the poems are written from a child's perspective and the others are about children as seen from an adult's perspective. Many of the poems in the anthology Songs of Innocence draw attention to the positive aspects of human understanding prior to the corruption and distortion of experience. Some poems take a more critical stance towards innocence and purity. In this anthology, Blake draws touching portraits of the emotional power of rudimentary Christian values and he also exposes Christianity's capacity for promoting injustice and cruelty. In 1794, these poems were combined with companion poems and published in another anthology titled Songs of Experience. Songs of Experience work via parallels and contrasts to lament the ways in which the harsh experiences of adult life destroy what is good in innocent childhood. Songs of Experience also articulates the weaknesses of innocent perspectives. The collections Songs of Innocence and the Songs of Experience juxtapose the innocent pastoral world of childhood against an adult world of corruption and repression. The poems as a whole explore the values and limitations of two different perspectives of the world. Many poems are composed in pairs so that the same situation is first seen through the lens of innocence and then through the lens of experience. So this poem, The Chimney Sweeper, is also included in Songs of Experience. But the poem that we will be discussing in this video, the poem taken from the Songs of Innocence, is seen through the lens of innocence. Whereas the other poem, the other Chimney Sweeper poem from the Songs of Experience, which we will look at in another video, is seen through the lens of experience, through the eyes of an adult. Now, William Blake, in both the poems, in both the anthologies, he does not identify himself wholly with 
a particular view. He does not take a stand. He stands outside in a sense. So he stands in a detached manner as an observer. He stands outside in a sense and experience in a distanced position to recognize and correct the fallacies of both. In particular, he pits himself against despotic authority, restrictive morality, sexual repression and institutionalized religion. So in the title page of the combined anthology, uh, this is mentioned. The title page announces that the poems show two contrary states of the human soul. As man goes through various stages of innocence and experience in the poems, the poet William Blake also goes through different stages of innocence and experience. Now Blake also insists on the dual role of the poet. According to him, poetry should both delight as well as instruct. A poet speaks both from the personal experience of his own vision and from the inherited tradition of ancient bards and prophets. Now, if you look at the poems and the songs of innocence and the songs of experience, you will find in the first anthology, there is a pleasant lyrical aspect. It is shown in the poet's role of a piper, a musician. And in the second set, in the anthology Songs of Experience, the poems are more of a somber nature, a prophetic nature. And here you find the poet assuming the role of a stern bard. Blake's chimney sweeper poems highlight the injustice and brutality suffered by child chimney sweeps in the late 18th and the 19th centuries in Britain. The wretched figure of the child sweep is a key emblem in these poems of social protest. The chimney sweepers are the innocent victims. They are cruelly exploited by society. These chimney sweeps also called the climbing boys. They were so young, somewhere as young as three or two years old. And these children were often orphans or they were sold by parents who were poor, too poor to bring them up, or they were recruited from workhouses. The practice of using infants, very small boys, as chimney sweeps was not abolished until 1875, that is nearly 50 years after the death of William Blake. Now let us take a look at the Chimney Sweeper, the poem which is included in the first anthology, that is Songs of Innocence. So please remember that in this poem, it is seen, you find the perspective of an innocent child. Let me read the poem first. The Chimney Sweeper When my mother died, I was very young. And my father sold me, while yet my tongue could scarcely cry, Weep, 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 weep. So your chimneys I sweep, and in soot I sleep. There's little Tom Dacre, who cried when his head that curled like a lamb's back was shaved. So I said, Hush, Tom, never mind it, for when your head's bare, you know that the soot cannot spoil your white hair. And so he was quiet, and that very night, as Tom was a-sleeping, he had such a sight that thousands of sweepers, Dick, Joe, Ned and Jack, were all of them locked up in coffins of black. And then came an angel who had a bright key, and he opened the coffins and set them all free. Then down a green plain, leaping, laughing, they run, and wash in a river and shine in the sun. Then, naked and white, all their bags left behind, they rise upon clouds and sport in the wind. And the angel told Tom, if he'd be a good boy, he'd have God for his father and never want joy. And so Tom awoke, and we rose in the dark, and got with our bags and our brushes to work. Though the morning was cold, Tom was happy and warm, so if all do their duty, they need not fear harm. 
So the Innocence poem dramata is a dramatic monologue in rhyming couplets. It is spoken by a sweep, a child sweep. The poem The Chimney Sweeper opens with a direct almost a kind of documentary account. The little boy explains how he was sold by his father after the death of his mother. And the first few lines tell us that he was very young because he says that he could scarcely utter the words sweep instead of the word sweep what comes out is weep weep and again weep can also refer to the miserable condition of the boy and it also tells us that the child seems unaware of his own miserable status of his own degradation in the next stanza a few stanzas you find the child talking about a new recruit to the chimney sweep family a little boy named tom dacre so he tells us in a very innocent manner how tom cried when his head was shaved and how this child tried to console him telling him that if your head is shaved it is better that you have no hair on your head so that the soot cannot spoil your beautiful hair so this was enough to console tom he was very quiet and then you have a description a dream of tom again it shows us how child how a child can be so innocent and so hopeful of the future in spite of all the uh, uh, distress all the misery that he is exposed to so when tom was sleeping he had a sight and that sight was not a very positive sight so what did tom see he saw thousands of sweepers and a few names are mentioned these are all very common british names dick joe ned and jack all of them were locked up in coffins of black now these black coffins are a symbol the black coffins refer to the lives of the black uh, sorry of the uh, children who are covered in soot all day and night the black coffins probably offer uh, also refer to the chimneys the chimneys into which these children are Uh, taken down so that they can clean it of all the dirt so they all lead lives as if shut up or locked up in coffins of black and then what happens next in the dream in the dream an angel comes to rescue the little boys so the angel had a very bright key he opened the coffins and set them all free so then again you have a very green picture green again a symbol of happiness and positivity so down a green plain all the children ran leaping and laughing just like children always do and they wash in the river and they shine in the sun so that again is a symbol it is a christian symbol where you have to uh, wash yourself or your off all your sins and be in favor of god the father so naked and white the children all their bags left behind bags again can be another symbol of the worldly burdens the worldly miseries so what happens to them they rise upon the clouds and they play in the wind and the angel tells tom a very important he gives tom a very important advice he tells tom if he is a good boy that means if he is a very good chimney sweep if he listens to his masters and does his job properly then god will look after him and he would never want joy again uh, the some of the principles of christianity are seen here uh, according to the christian religion earthly life is only a transitional phase so you find real joy your real reward awaits for you in heaven so earthly joy is not considered a good thing and so anyway tom is satisfied and happy and so he woke up the next morning all hopeful and positive and we rose in the dark so he probably told the dream to all the children and they are also very happy and they are hopeful of an angel who would come and rescue them from their lives of misery so we rose in the dark they got with uh, they got ready to go to work the bags and brushes and though all do the morning was very cold usually these little chimney sweeps are taken to the houses early in the morning before the family uh, wakes up so that they can do their jobs quickly and then 
get away. But Tom was very happy and warm. Why? Because the dream gave him a kind of hope. So if all do their duty, they need not fear harm. This again is a kind of a satirical statement uh, with which Blake ends the poem. Uh, again, that if people all do their duty, then they need not fear anything. We can all live very happy lives and so on. So central to the poem is uh, the dual contrast between the grim realities of the lives of chimney sweepers. Again, it is contrasted with the ecstatic vision of liberty contained in the dream of Tom Dacre. The dreams of thousands of sweepers are that they will be rescued from their black lives, from their black coffins by an angel. And what happens in reality? These little chimney sweeps, their lives are restricted and often they catch diseases, uh, respiratory diseases because of working for long hours in, inside the chimneys and because they are exposed to all the soot and dirt. So the black coffins stand for their black lives, their depressing lives. But in the dream, which is set in a very pastoral kind of setting, a pastoral idol, a green plain, the children are seen very free and happy. So the dream shows, uh, at first shows black coffins, but later it shows a colorful place. So their real world, which is monochrome and dark in the city, is shown in a colorful place in the dream. The freedom comes with a price. The freedom from their misery comes with a price. The angel tells Tom that he will find joy or he will find a reward in heaven only if he is good. He should do his duty. So Blake is ironically referring to the passive acceptance of earthly misery to gain the joys of a heavenly kingdom. And so he is subtly attacking the church, the institution, for perpetuating such false myths. So uh, let us take a brief look at uh, what the poem tells us about or what the poem shows us. The poem is a touching portrayal of injustice and cruelty suffered by infant chimney sweeps in the late 18th and 19th centuries. So in this poem you get a, a detailed picture, a wretched figure of the child sweep. Uh, this figure is a key emblem in this poem of social protest and these children are innocent victims of industrialization. Now, uh, Blake uses a very simple and direct language and also symbolism and biblical imagery in this poem. Now, the themes that you will find in this poem are childhood, poverty, exploitation, social inequality and religion. Uh, it also depicts a very realistic portrayal of poor children in Britain during the Industrial Revolution. The children are forced to become child become chimney sweeps. It all the poem also highlights the chimney sweeper's slow transition from childhood innocence to maturity. Now, what are the romantic elements that you can find in the chimney sweeper? This poem depicts two romantic preoccupations, that is childhood and the impact of the Industrial Revolution on nature and on man. It shows or it portrays the voice of a child sweep singing his tale of woe. And this uh, sweet song or the sad song of woe appeals to the emotions of the readers. It also depicts the journey of a child from innocence to reality. Now, the, you find this kind of a journey or a similar journey in most of the romantic poems. Again, this poem is a propaganda against the evils of child labor, the injustices of clergy and the exploitation of the poor by the rich. So these are the romance, some of the romantic elements that you would find in Blake's The Chimney Sweeper poem, which is included in the anthology Songs of Innocence. In my next video, we will be discussing the Chimney Sweeper poem that is included in the Songs of Experience. Hope you will join me and watch that video also. Thank you so much for your patient listening and stay safe.